It has been a long road to this point in the season, but we are officially down to two. It's game one of the World Series between the American League's Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Yeah, and top to bottom, I think both of these clubs have a lot of different guys that can beat you. It might not just be the stars that dominate this series. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if some of the lesser-known guys here wind up stealing the show. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on the show. And it's coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. now we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one more from the guys as this one goes along but first let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Houston Astros as manager Bo Porter aligns his guys like this And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. And the Cardinals behind him will look like this defensively. Jose Altuve will stand in now for the first time here in this World Series, and he's a guy this club really needs to get going. Yeah, it's been a tough October for him so far. He just seemed a little overmatched in the games that we've watched. It looks like he's just trying too hard, and sometimes that just puts more pressure on him. to bunt his way on to open the ball game but he misses it for strike one now the pitch off the plate one ball one strike and it'll be important to stay warm tonight a chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch Ready now on one and one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Here comes a one-two. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. And he is going to have extra bases to start the evening. And he'll check in with the first hit of this World Series, a double. Oh, it's just so important for a visiting ball club to come out swinging in the first inning. you got to do what you can do to get on the board first. And he gives him a good shot at that right here as he kicks off the night with a leadoff double. Dexter Fowler will stand in for the first time here in this World Series. And you see the numbers. He's been as hot as anybody around. Maybe the hottest hitter on the ball club through the first few rounds. If he can keep it going here in the World Series, 
I think they're going to have a good shot at going all the way. Here's the first offering. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Now the pitch over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. He's ready now. The pitch and a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Now you can bet now that in the postseason, on the road, in game one here, they'd like nothing better than to get on the board first. Just kind of let these guys know that they mean business. They've got an early opportunity to do just that. So two balls and two strikes now. Oh, that's not a bad idea right there. Go ahead and try that back foot slider on a one and two. Hope you can get him to commit. That's a good job of laying off of that pitch. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And you can just sense him starting to tense up out there on the mound. They had him down 0-2 oh and... Two and now he's struggling to make the perfect pitch, and it's not happening. Three and two, here it is. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. Um, this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and, and they found one there. In now, Gary Cox as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Here comes the 1 0. -oh. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw gets him, two down. Number 30 will take his cuts now, and he is one guy whose bat has not made the transition from regular season to postseason. Yeah, and he was so good during the regular year, but he's been a non-factor so far in this postseason. First pitch coming. Ball one. You'd have to say, so far, so good here for the rookie. Yeah, I mean, he's getting ahead. He's mixing his pitches. You'd like to put up a zero to get that first inning out of the way, and he's close to making that happen. The 1-0 pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Grounded foul. Here comes the one two. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Lee has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the shot. Astros leave one. It's the Astros nothing. Cardinals coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Now the starting lineup for the Cardinals looks like this. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen.
And behind him, here's how the Astros will line it up on defense. John Jay will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. The pitch. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. The one one. I oh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Batting second, third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter digs in at the plate. First pitch on the way. Now oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. And he'll put this away for the second out. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Michael Lee will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. This has been just the kind of start you hope for in a game one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a pitch on the way. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. One one pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. The one two and a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. We played an inning, no score. Jason Castro leads things off now in the top half of the second. Jason Castro. First pitch coming. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. He may not throw a ton of changeups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Come on now, let's get a K right here. One one on the way. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle.
Matt Dominguez will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Let's go, Redbirds! And here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The next pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Come on, let's do it. The 1-1. On the ground to third. Descalzo. On to first, and they get the double play, but boy, was he ever upended at second base. Having seven, touched up. Arthur. Oh, this will be a good look here in show motion. Even in super slow-mo, I think we all know what's running through his mind right here. He knows he's going to get leveled, and this is something right out of a gymnastics class. That one had to hurt. Into the box now, Arthur Hargrove. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Now here it comes. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1-1. One Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. Picked up by Peralta. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing there for Houston. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Mark McGuire will start things off in the bottom of the second. First baseman, Mark McGuire. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The 1-0. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. The right-hander deals on one and two. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. And that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Matt Holliday standing in now. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Here it comes. And a good pitch there as this ball sent out to straightaway central for Fowler. And he's got it for out number two. Batting six. Catcher. Yadier Molina. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. First offering on the way. 
Fastball in there for a called strike. Wow, he is spotting that fastball on a dime here early on. Now the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The 0-2 to Molina. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We've played two full and we are tied nothing-nothing. J.D. Martinez ready to go here as we begin the third. The right fielder number 20, J.D. Martinez. First pitch to him. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while. And when he does, you can forget it. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Now the 1-1. One, one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Here's the one, two. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. That's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Right over the top here with the four-seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him at the letters. Luis Rodriguez will step in now as he'll get a chance to swing the bat here in the World Series. Yeah, and remember, thanks to the National League winning the All-Star game, no DH in games one or two, or six or seven if we go that far. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. Oh, yeah. The 1 0 home. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. And we've seen guys swing at that four seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. Look into Molina now, the 1 1. No, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Here he comes on two and two. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. Now the three and two pitch. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitchers. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. So bases are empty here with two gone. 
And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. First pitch coming. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Bends down and he barehands it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Johnny Peralta will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Number 30 is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop-up to start the inning. Now you'll take that every time. Daniel Descalzo will stand in. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. One oh. One and one. I tell you, he's got a good pace. A good tempo to him out there right now. The 1-1 one, one home. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Yeah, both these two starters are matching each other in the early inning, stride for stride. He's an out away now from a 1-2-3 bottom of the third. Seth Pargro will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now the first pitch. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. One oh on the way. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Cardinals have been held out of the hit column here. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. One, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Boy, that's pretty good patience out there out of a pitcher who's acting like a hitter. Especially with two outs. Two, two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Dexter Fowler will be the one to lead it off when we come back. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And there is Dexter Fowler. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Here's the first offering. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. 
Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. It's still on his mind. And the pitch. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Yeah, a nice job behind the plate. He wants it low, so he's got a good idea that this ball might be in the dirt, so he's able to smother it and then make the strong throw to first. Stepping in now, Gary Cox, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. 1-1 one, one pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. The one two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The two two coming. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Number 30 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the first pitch. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. The 1-0. And a bouncing ball, foul. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. comes a one two inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes and I think you have to ask yourself was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away uh, two two and he struck him out so a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order three up three down three strikeouts not too shabby back with more from game one after this. John Jay will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Yeah, still looking for their first base runner too. Nine up, nine down. First pitch coming. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now the 1 0. Ball two. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Two-oh on the way. 
big cut at the 2-0 slider, but he comes up empty, 2-1. and one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Ready with the 2-1. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Here he comes, 3-1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, 3-2. and two. Here's the full count offering. And a good pitch there as this ball sent out to straightaway central for Fowler. One gone. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And my gracious, look at that comparison. Both guys into triple digits. That is some serious, serious gas. One away now, and here's Matt Carpenter. Now here's the first pitch. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. There to take it as Fowler as that becomes out number two. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Michael Lee will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. First pitch on the way. Lays off 1-0. One oh pitch now. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Just overmatched him there. Now the one and one pitch. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And this is bounced foul near the secret weapon, Jose Akendo, in the third base coaching box. Bases are empty here with two men out. Come on! Here's the two and two offering. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Mark McGuire would be next. Full count pitch on its way. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner here. And that's a step in the right direction. Mark McGuire will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. From the stretch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. He 
away. Now the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Here comes the one, two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Jason Castro will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront, and this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. First pitch coming. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone, then maybe your offense can go from there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. So one away, and that'll bring in the third baseman, Matt Dominguez. Come on, Cardinals! First offering on the way. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Now the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. And you start to wonder if anyone's going to get on base against him again. That's 10 straight now. He's retired. Arthur Hargrove will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Jay is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Matt Holliday set to lead things off when we come back. Halfway home, still no score. And there is Matt Holliday now. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. First pitch to him. And that misses ball one. There's his total now just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Now the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. Here's the 1 0. Fouled back. Ready now on one and one. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And foul. Now the one, two. Got him. Boy, and just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. Yadier Molina will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. 
But one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Here's a 1-0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1-1. One one. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to look for. The one and two with one away. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here three in a row going back to the last inning and there are two away. A look at our line score to this point and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the shortstop Johnny Peralta. Here's the first offering. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Pretty dangerous here for a first baseman. This throws high, and it's to the home plate side of the bag. So when he leaves his feet, he's really exposing himself to that runner coming down the line. The overthrow, that was bad enough, but a collision there would have really been bad news. Daniel Descalzo will come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now is where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field quite like having two out airs that lead to runs. First pitch to him. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. J.D. Martinez will lead things off here for Houston as they look to get things started in this sixth inning. J.D. Martinez. Let's go, Cardinals! Here's the first offering. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. And if he's had any postseason jitters, he hasn't shown them to me. No, he's been outstanding so far pitch on the way and maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth up next for the extra pitcher Luis Rodriguez Luis Rodriguez will bat for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth Now the first pitch. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Boy, tough enough to be an American League pitcher swinging the bat as it is. How about having to deal with pitches like that? One word, Maddie. Unfair. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Yeah, that's the put-away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if he'll chase. The right-hander deals on one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but 
now on two and two. I don't think you fool around anymore. Here comes a two two. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up two down to start the sixth inning. Yeah he's able to set down his opposite number there. And I'll tell you these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Jose Altuve will dig in now one for two to this point. First pitch coming. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One oh on the way. And this one's too far inside ball two. The 2 0 on the way. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. Here it comes, 2 and 1. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll round it and try for third. And he'll make it into third here with a two out triple. He does a nice job here going right with the pitch. You can see it's on the outside part of the plate, and he just squares it up perfectly and drives it right through the empty gap. And since they were playing the pull, they've got a long way to go to run this ball down, so that allows him to easily make it up to third base. Dexter Fowler will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Now the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Set. Now the pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Hit the target, but this is low. 2-1. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Now he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at bats. No score at this point, but a two out hit could get a runner in from third. A 2 1 offering. Won't go after the 2 1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Comes set, now the pitch. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Up next for the Astro, left fielder. Gary Cox will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now some stirring in the Cardinal bullpen as the right-hander Jason Mott has begun throwing. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning, so that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. Come set, now the pick. And this will be fouled away. Set now the pitch. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. 
Big pitch here, one and two. And that just misses the corner inside to even the count at two and two. That's a good idea, one and two right there, just to see if he'd chase. But now with the count even, I think this one has to be in the strike zone because you don't want to run the risk of loading the bases for the cleanup guy. Here's the two and two home. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. No runs, three hits. One error so far for the Astros. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On the first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. Still no score. Seth Hargrove will lead things off for the Redbirds here in their half of the sixth inning. Now here's the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Here it comes. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. Here's the one, two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Another 1-2. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. On the mound, he's got to be talking to himself. You know, in the American League, we see DHs like Ortiz and Billy Butler, Michael Young. You're telling me I get to face a pitcher three times a game? I could get used to this. In now is John Jay as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Now here's the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. And the pitch. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. One out, nobody on. The next 0-2 change up and he ain't buying it one and two four pitches fast slow fast slow EK you thinking fastball here that seems to fit the pattern but you better not get too predictable out there guys will catch on quick now the pitch swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second on to first and there were two down and when your pitcher hasn't given up a hit, believe me, you're going to feel the pressure out there just about as much as he does. These guys know what's at stake. So that's a good job right there to look that ball in and then make a good, strong throw for the out. Matt Carpenter will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. 
And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look here at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Number 30 will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. That's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. First pitch coming. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. 2-0 and oh now. Two well count the pitch and now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here it's two and one now and this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight he's had a lot of guys shaking their heads so far here comes the two one and this one's low here so the count swells to three and one he knows a drill out there You've got to make him swing the bat not giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Yeah, nothing on the scoreboard yet, so maybe this can be a start as he's on base to lead off the Jason inning. Castro. Jason Castro will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. First pitch on the way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there, or he'll take advantage. Here comes the 1 0. Here's a changeup that's right there, 1 and 1. One pitch on the way. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason. And he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. Now the 2 1 pitch. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Here now the 2-2. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. You got the go-ahead run in scoring position in this situation, and you come up with a huge strikeout like that. You're pumping your fist. Your intensity is a little bit higher. This guy is focused in right now and very happy with his results. Here's the third baseman, Matt Dominguez, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. One zero pitch, swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and one. One one on the way, and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one.
Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Now the 2-2 pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two 2-2 and 2-2 two. Two, two pitch on the way. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Here's the payoff pitch, and he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, you know he's going to be happy to finally come away with that strikeout, but he's so deep into the start right now, and you hate to burn through that many pitches on one hitter as he did right there. Those at-bats, they seem to take a little bit more energy out of you later in the game than maybe back in the first or second inning. Standing in now, Arthur Hargrove. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Now the 2-0 home. This ball will be chopped foul. Here's the two and one pitch. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one within four. It's two and two. Oh, he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee high to ankle high in the matter of about five feet. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Sets the two two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes on two and two. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Well, we wait until the seventh inning to get somebody into the run call. Here's your opening run of the game right there. Heck, the way this one's gone, one run might be enough to do it. J.D. Martinez. We'll try and keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. From the belt, the pitch. Right on it there, but this is foul over toward the first base dugout. As a look, now the pitch. Down and away, ball one. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. One, one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed, one and two now. One run, four hits. One error so far for the Astros. One, two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Another one, two delivery. Hard sinker misses two and two. The 
2-2 coming. And there he goes towards second. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Ready with another 2-2. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And with two strikes, this is the risk that you run trying to get a guy to fish for something. No doubt that was the idea, but it's going to wind up costing him. The 3-2 pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. On to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in St. Louis. Houston leads this one, one to nothing. Michael Lee will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. First offering on the way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The 1-0. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now here's the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Mark McGuire will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, you could see this building even from the first couple of innings. He still has not allowed a hit. And I think he'll certainly have enough to go the distance if so required. Matt Holliday will come in now with two away. And to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. First pitch to him. He had well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. the pitch and Holiday will not offer at that one it's a ball and a strike bases are empty here with two men out the one one now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out down in order go the Cardinals it remains 1-0. Jason Mott will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Jason Mott. Luis Rodriguez will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Luis Rodriguez. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And with the no-hitter still within the realm of possibility, what kind of effort will we see here? Uh, I'm saying not very much.
The next pitch. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. The one two struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. A look here at our starter comparison. And again, I don't want to be called the jinx, but the number to watch is in that hit column on the left side of your screen. A big zero. Jose Altuve will stand in. He tripled in his last appearance. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. Pitch on the way. Oh, and they got him to lunge at one there as this is popped high in the air over toward the left side of the infield. Under it is Carpenter, and that's out number two. So with one gone here in the top of the eighth, even the home fans are starting to sense that we could be on the verge of witnessing history as we get a look at our line score here, and you see the big number. No hits for the home team through seven. Dexter Fowler will stand in, base on balls his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Now the pitch. Another fastball. Another cold strike. Nothing in two now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Now here it comes. Hits softly to the right side. Throw to first in plenty of time and his side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. But they lead it one to nothing. Yadier Molina will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Catcher, Yadier Molina. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. 1-0. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Here's the 1-1. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. This is taken in by Fowler for the first out. And just another outstanding pitch right there. And it's not easy to do with so much on the line here in the eighth inning. But he's now down to his final five outs. Johnny Peralta will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. First pitch coming. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. 
And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And now a pitch on the way. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And now as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Here comes a 1-2. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Under it is Dominguez, and there are two away now. Four outs to go, and if he's feeling the pressure out there, he sure isn't showing it. He looks like he's just out there throwing a bullpen session or something. Alan Craig will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. This is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. I doubt he wanted to get in quite so tight with the hard stuff there. But, hey, this is a guy with good opposite field power, so you don't want to just give him free reign to lean out over the plate. 1-0 on the way. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Maybe the pressure of the no-hitter getting to him a bit. Yeah, 2-0 oh now. He's got to be careful it doesn't all go up in smoke right here. Now the 2-0. Oh. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Ready on 2-1. and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now the three one pitch. And this ball is lined into center field, and right off the bench, he comes through. It's a base hit. And now you might start wondering about a pinch hitter. If that's the case, here's what the Redbirds have left on the bench. Here's Astros manager Bo Porter now on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your attention, please. New pitcher coming on now as they'll hand it off to the right-hander, Jesse Crane. Matt Adams will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 32, Matt Adams. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first, two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. The 1-0 home. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one.
Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball called strike. One and two. Here comes the one, two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Cards leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Kevin Segrist will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Mark Ellis will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Now playing second base, number three, Mark Ellis. Gary Cox will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bat so far. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Not a bad idea when you're facing a guy with a funky delivery like his. You go up there taking a pitch, get yourself a better idea of the release point that he's showing you and how to time that delivery a little bit better. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The 1-1 one, home. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. There's the lefties offering on one and two. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Just an outstanding play out there by the outfielder. And the guy who appreciates it more than anybody is the pitcher. Because if that drops in, you're looking at some trouble. In now, number 30. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he comes up empty there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now 1-2. and two. Not Nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. So 1-2 and two with one away. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. And this will be fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Now here's the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Now the one and one pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the one, two. Misses. Ball two. Struck came out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. 
One, two, three, go the Astros. But they're on top, one to nothing. Eddie Farmer is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 27, Eddie Farmer. John Jay will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a ball 1-0. And that fastball of his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. Now the 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1-1. One and 100 one. miles an hour is hard. A high 100, impossible to get on top of. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Look at the stop. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, we've seen winning rallies get started with less than this. This is going to be an infield single all the way, and now they're in business with the leadoff man on base to start this inning. Matt Carpenter will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Pitch. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Here comes another 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Set. Now the pitch. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. And I'll tell you what, being a closer isn't for everybody. When you find yourself in the ball game, you know you're going to be in a pressure spot. And he dials up a big strikeout right there, and he needed that one. Michael Lee will work now on getting that tying run home from second. First pitch coming. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Runner at second here with one man out. The 1 0. Chopper foul. Here comes the 1 1. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. The right-hander deals on one and two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. 
Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Mark McGuire will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the attack. He waits. Now the pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that run as it's chopped foul. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. He's ready now. The pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And against a veteran hitter like this, you got to be in that strike zone early in the count. Because the more pitches he sees, the better he's going to be able to time anything you've got. Here's the one, two. And he struck him out. And the ball game is over as they get the possible tying run over to third, but can't get him across. Wow, just a really great game to watch from beginning to end. A well-pitched, one-nothing ball game. This is just a broadcaster's dream. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Sometimes guys get caught up in the pressure of the World Series and their performance suffers. But he was obviously not rattled out there, and he came through in a big way. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Karros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Astros win this thing one to nothing. Good night from St. Louis. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. One run, four hits, one error. They left four men on base. For St. Louis, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium, a sellout of 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us in baseball heaven. 
and remind you to please drive home safely. Have a good night.